Hey YouTube, it is your girl Dr. J and I thought I would come on and um, do a video addressing a question that I've been getting a lot and that is um, why I haven't shared um, the full extent of Speedster's curriculum for this year and I wanted to go ahead and address that because I know that it's a question that I've been getting um, a lot more frequently. Um, because I've only showed just really a small portion of his curriculum, just, just the math portion. And um, I'm not going to be sharing the rest of his curriculum, and I'm not going to be doing full curriculum videos anymore for any of my kids. And I'm going to talk about why. Now, yes, I'm still going to be doing homeschool videos. I'm still going to be doing product reviews and showing you guys neat things that I find. but And pontificating <laughs> about homeschooling in general. But I'm not going to be doing um, full um, reviews or full showing of ex everything that we're using in our homeschool and how we're using it in our homeschool. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One reason is because I use a ton of stuff. Like I use a ton of stuff. And in order for me to really be able to show people exactly how I use those things, it would take a significant amount of time. And my priorities in life is that I am number one, first and foremost, a wife and a mom and then a homeschooler. And then I also work. I, I teach for several different colleges and universities. And so I don't have a lot of hours in my day. And so YouTube is it's just a hobby for me. And so I really don't have the time to commit to it that will be necessary in order to exactly show people exactly how I use things. And sometimes, you know, people get a little frustrated because they'll say, well, you know, you said that you use this, but I bought it and it didn't work for us. And it was like, okay, well, one, sometimes things work for some people that they don't necessarily work for other people. I mean, I have things that, I have three kids and sometimes I have a resource that may work for one or two of them, but it doesn't work for all of them. And so that happens in my own household. So definitely it's gonna happen across households. But sometimes people don't really like that <laughs> and um then um also sometimes you know people assume that just because i'm using it i'm recommending that they, that they buy it and you know not everything is going to work for everyone and in order to really explain you know why something works or why i bought something or how i use it it just requires you know to give like lots of <laughs> intimate details about um my kids and um this is my kids journey this is not my journey and so i my kids are getting older uh speedsters in middle school now and the twins are not far, far behind them and so i really don't have the right to tell everything about their life because they're becoming independent individuals they have a long time before they're 18 and they're legal adults but they're starting to come into a consciousness and I don't want to dictate what is the story of their adulthood. It is time for them to be able to just to talk to determine what they talk about and or what's talked about them and what's not. And when I started my channel, the reason why I started my channel was to talk about two things that I didn't hear a lot of people talking about and that was um, homeschooling gifted children and having a STEM based homeschool. So those were the two things that's been what my channel has always been about. That's been what my channel has always focused on. And that's what my channel will continue to focus on. But as I started to talk about things that were very specific to my kids, it is starting to become a level of disclosure that, you know, I'm not necessarily comfortable with. And I and I know and and I've been seeing that change happen in the homeschool blogging and vlogging community where people are just discussing really intimate things like I'm on Instagram and I see people like homeschoolers showing their panties <laughs> on Instagram like oh see look at my panties look at my underwear like uh, like I no 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 so we're not going to be dis disclosing the intimate details of our life to the point where I'm going to be showing pictures of my underwear and so um yeah, that really made, when I started to see those sort of things, it really made me step back and say, okay, what is the level of disclosure that I'm willing to share with strangers? Because although we have a pretty close community, relatively close community 
on YouTube, the truth of the matter is we're all pretty much strangers, okay? And so, you know, when I saw the panty shot, that made me go, hmm, am I disclosing things that, you know, five years from now or 10 years from now, or my kids might be embarrassed, like, really, my mama did that, my mama said that? And so that really, you know, helped me and made me step back and say, you know, let me take a look at the things that, that I talk about and the things that I disclose and make sure that I'm not crossing any lines for my family. So that was um, a big reason for the decision. Um, another big reason for the decision was that when it comes to the choices that I make for my kids, and now since they are getting older, the choices that we make together, these are very intimate decisions. And they come through a lot of research, a lot of you know, sweat and tears and all that other sort of stuff. And it's my kids, it's, it's their personal private journey. And I liken it to if your child came to you and said, you know, mom, dad, I want you to help me um, design a dress for my cotillion or design a suit for my bar mitzvah. And this is, this is all about them for their special day. And so you get together and you're talking and you're going over stuff and you're, you know, sketching designs and you're researching fabric and you're talking about embellishments and you, what stitch are we going to use and what's going to, how we're going to design our pattern. And you're, you're, you're really spending all this time and you're, you're bonding and, you know, this is really about them and what they want, what they want for their future. And you decide, you as the parent decide, you know, this is really cool. I'm really loving this experience that I'm having with my kids. Maybe other people will be encouraged to have this experience of designing something unique um, with their kid. And so you start to talk about it and you blog about it and you blog about it and you tell all the details, you know, exactly line up on line, precept on precept, this is how we did X, Y, Z. And then when your child is ready for their cotillion or their bar mitzvah, whatever, and they step out and they're ready to shine in, in this thing that they thought they uniquely created with you. And when they step out, they see that there's five, 10, 15, 20 other people, and they're wearing the exact same outfit that you and your child design. And your child is like, wait a minute, this was you and I were supposed to be putting this together for me. This, this, we bonded over this. We made this for me. Why is there someone else in my exact dress? Why is there someone else walking in my exact shoes? <laughs> my exact outfit down to the shoes, the tie, the hat, the, you know, they, they got everything, everything. And I, you know, that back because what I was starting to see was not just the sharing of ideas and the exchanging of ideas amongst people. It was to the point where, you know, my kids, their channel is called Kids Doing STEM. And, you know, I'm looking up and people are hashtagging, oh, boys doing STEM, girls doing STEM. And you're going, really? You know, and I'm like, oh, okay, we have a STEM best based homeschool well we have a steam prep school yeah that's, that's what you know and so it just became uncomfortable because i was like okay wait a minute i'm sharing things trying to have an exchange of ideas not to have people recreate exactly what i'm doing but to talk about the process and to share the process so that people can go to their families and create their own unique processes. And what was happening was not, you know, I'm seeing people create unique processes. I'm seeing people take things exactly like I said them and put a logo around it and try to sell it as their own or put a logo around it and or put a hashtag on it or to just go out and, you know, what was, you know, an idea that my child had or an idea that someone else's child had and you know, this other person is here and they're acting like they came up with this idea. And 
I just didn't want to continue to be a part of that kind of craziness where one day, you know, my kid is going to want to go out and show the uniqueness of their journey. And I don't want them to have that feeling of, wait a minute, you know, all these things I did because I was passionate about them and they were unique for us and we you know, did all this research together and we were trying to create this journey together and this person did the exact same thing. Like if we wanted to have a traditional journey, I could just send my kids to a traditional school. They could go to, you know, a public school or a private school and have a typical journey. So that's not my goal. <laughs> I didn't want to my kids to have a typical journey. I wanted my kids to have um, a journey that was theirs and theirs alone. And I was seeing that they couldn't have a journey that was theirs and theirs alone if I was out there telling every single piece of everything that we were doing. Um, and so I have to stop that. That has to be a level of disclosure that I have to stop because that's not fair. This is not my journey. This is not my experience. This is theirs. This is their dress. So I'm not making my dress. I'm making their dress or their suit or their tux. And so if I want to disclose everything about me, then I'll do that. But I'm not going to disclose everything about my kids. Um, it was easier and it was, you know, less of an issue when they were, you know, four, five, six, you know, um, but they're not um, four, five, six anymore they're older and they get to control the disclosure of what's out there and i also do that as a college professor um uh, i look at some things that i see and i'm like you know what i know my college students would be appalled if i as their professor could go and see them you know five years ago and their mom is, you know, disclosing all this information about them. Or if an employer, like one of the things that I teach a lot in my classrooms is controlling your online persona. And there are some things that I see some parents of high schoolers disclose that I would never have my college students disclose about themselves on social media, but their parents are disclosing it about their kids um with pictures <laughs> and video and i you know i'm like wow that's you know that's a a big decision to make for your child to um disclose that much information about them when they are that close to adulthood because i'm pulling back and my kids are you know eight years away from adulthood and you know some people are disclosing things about their children and their you know just a couple of years away from um, adulthood. And there are things that if I were an employer or if I were on a scholarship committee or something like that, I would be like, mm, really? Okay. And colleges do <laughs> look at social media. Um, I've seen, there are also <laughs> things that I've seen where um, people don't, um, again, from my experience with universities, people sometimes don't think that they think that they're showing something good. You know, I'm gonna hashtag this school, I'm gonna hashtag this, and I've seen um, schools that people really want their kids to go to, and the, the deans of these colleges are like, okay, um, look at this helicopter parent. Like, there's no way, like, do, do y'all see this craziness? And so, I'm cog conscious of that. I'm conscious of, okay, this is how people are perceived. And if people, you know, I don't want this to happen to my kids. You know, I don't want this to be my kids' experience. So I have to be conscious and cognizant of what I'm disclosing because I don't want to take any, take out, take away any opportunities for my kids. So that's why I'm pulling back on that. Um, like I said, I'm still going to do curriculum reviews. I'm still going to share resources that I find. I'm still going to wax poetic about homeschool, but um, the disclosure on my kids will be saved for their channel 
and um, what they want to share or what I have their permission to share on, on my channel. But um, other than that, this is their journey and I am going to let them drive. <laughs> so I hope this helps um, at least explain why I haven't done a full curriculum uh, video for my um, eldest and why I won't be doing any for the any other three in the future. Like I said, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll mention, hey, we're using this or hey, we're using that. But as far as going through and setting everything out and saying, okay, we're going to use this book and this kid and this, and, um, I'm not going to do that. So hope that helps. This is Dr. J and I'm out. Bye-bye.